Okay, I think that answers the question. Only four people wanted to answer. It sounded pretty fucking ominous to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, I'm not showing off, but like, you know, I, I, I'm 45 years old and uh, I've got friends, but... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this now, I'm out of the market for making new friends. I'm done. I've retired from making friends. I don't know if anyone else feels like this. I know everybody who I'm going to know now. I'm done. Thank you. That's it. I'm out. I'm done. And it's incredibly liberating. I'll be talking to somebody new, they'll be chatting to me and I just think, I don't give a fuck where this goes. I can give a shit. Sometimes I sabotage it deliberately. Then in the middle of a story I just go, BORING! And I start scratching my dick in a really obvious way and I hope they think I'm a weirdo and move away. Not only do I not want new friends, if anything, I'm looking at the friends that I do have. And I'm thinking, this needs fucking thinning out. It really does. We've all got friends like this. You be at the pub and they're in the middle of talking to you and you're just looking at them thinking, why the fuck am I still listening to you? You boring fuck. Listen, I've, got, I've got a friend of mine, genuinely, this is a, very much a bloke friend. I've got a mate who still talks about fighting. He'll be at the pub and he'll go, I reckon I could take him. But what are you on about? You're a 45 year old IT consultant. <laughs> Where are you going to take him? The internet cafe? No. And by the way, as men, we constantly talk about the same shit over and over and over again. Women in this room, if you're in a long-term relationship with a man, can I just apologise to you on behalf of my gender? For you having to listen to your other half bang out the same five stories again and again and again. I've seen it so many times, be out with another couple, you see the husband go, oh that reminds me of something that happened a couple of years ago actually. See the woman go, here we fucking go. Yes, you shat yourself at Thorpe Park. I don't know how many times I've told this fucking story! It's not that people are horrible, people are wonderful, you all seem wonderful. I just find socialising difficult. I have to build up to it, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a flaky individual, one of the flakiest in the game. They should sell me in Greg's. Do you know what I mean? One of my, one of my favourite hobbies, one of my favourite pastimes, not turning up to shit I said I was going to be at. Sometimes I know I'm not going to be there when I arrange it. I, uh, I wish they'd do it in a few weeks, I think I'll fuck that off nearer the time. And as it gets closer, the excuses have to get more extreme, don't they? You've got a week out, you've got a work issue, a few days before, kids ill, day off, kids dead. Just anything, anything to get out of it. And the, the thing is, I, I, I genuinely, I have to build, I have to build up to it. I have to build up to it. I have to ready myself to socialise. And that's why I think this should be made a law. And you might not agree with me, most of you won't, but some of you will. And this is for you, okay? If you are out and about, and you bump into someone you know, by accident, it should be illegal for them to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you, nine people. Look, we didn't, we didn't arrange this. This is an unhappy accident. Get the fuck away from me, okay? I don't care if you're my mum. Text me later, we'll arrange something. The worst is when you're at a supermarket, because you know you're going to see this prick another four times, you know what I mean? You'll come up with supermarket banter. Got sweet, sweet corn, that'll go straight through you. <laughs> well, they start analysing your shopping. Why have you got so many mushrooms? For an experiment, you know, you wank up. I think we should be harsher on our boring friends, I genuinely do. If you're at the pub with them and one of them's banging on, you just go, Dan, look to your taxi home. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm not drunk. No, but your last two stories have been dog shit. Go and read a book or something, you dull bastard.